Let's get started. March it out. Good, get those knees high. Good. Starting to warm up that body, getting the blood flowing. You always want to do a proper warm up and cool down. You don't want to just start right into high intensity training without getting the body warm first to prevent injury, okay? Good. Good, keep marching. Last eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, step touch. Good, step touch. Last five, four, three, two, one. Adding on, hamstring, good. Stretching out the front of the leg, kicking your booty. Here it is from the side, so squeezing the back, pulling it in, core tight, chest up. Good, come on, getting that heart rate up, let's go. Woo, I'm getting warm, are you? Good, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, now switching knees, elbow to knee. Good, warming up the trunk, the core, the torso, reaching. Good, switching, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, front knees, good, reaching. Warming up the trunk, the core, the shoulders, getting that heart rate up, woo! Good, give me eight, seven, six, knees to the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, march it out. Good, are you getting warmer? I am. Good, so lubricate those joints, shoulders. Keep marching for five, and four, and three. Reach, straight arms, two, and one. Good, side to side, reach, reach. Good, cut across, straight arms, good. Bend those knees and get low. Warming up the legs, come on. And bring it back up. Straight across, core is tight. Good, now reach up above. Reach, reach, reach. Stretching out the core. Getting a good deep stretch in the obliques. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. For eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Woo, I'm getting warm. We're almost done. And this is just the warm up, okay? Good, let's take it up. Good. Light on the balls of the feet. Shake it out. Woo, good. Give me punches to one side. Warming up the upper body. Getting ready to lift some weight. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. Good. Keep, always keep that core tight. This is just the warm up, so don't use up all your energy yet, okay? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. Are you feeling warm? I am, I think we're ready to start, good. March it out, go wide, shake out those hands. If you're feeling warm and ready, let's go straight into our first move, go ahead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna diagonal, and then you're gonna just lift that leg up to the side as you take a step to go to the other side. Squeezing your abs, squeezing your hips, squeezing the outer thigh side, of that side leg, okay? And then step through into it. Here we go. Lift, squat, lift, squat. And do whatever feels comfortable with your hands, okay? This added weight is just making the exercise that much more challenging. Make sure you point the toe as you raise. That's gonna engage the front of the leg, okay? Anytime we work our hips, our core gets lean and shredded, okay? 10 more, and drop, nine, drop, eight, 
drop, seven, drop, six, drop, five, drop, four, drop, three, drop, two, drop, last one, and low. So keep the weights in that hand. You're just gonna shift over to your opposite leg. Forearm on your thigh, two rows. One right close to your waist, one right towards me, pointed forward. So here we go, pull in and then wide. So just working a different part of your shoulder by changing the direction of that pull. Long flat back, you can see from the side view here that my back is not curled in, lengthening, supporting my spine allowing my shoulder to do the work. Good job, take it wide and pull it tight. Exhaling as you pull, nice job. And even in this position, you're still working your thigh just by leaning forward. My arm is doing the primary work here, but my leg is working, holding me up. My core is working, keeping me tight. Nice job, you guys, so close. And wide, right next to you. The inside your wrist points in towards you, then it points behind you. So narrow and wide. Good, let's do one more each. One more narrow, one more ride. Pull and pull, nice job. Other side, here we go. Last set of rows on this side. Elbow in, elbow towards me. Here we go, pull and take it wide. Shoulders away from your ears, long flat back, extending your tailbone towards your back heel at the top of your head. So you have a long flat line. Your back is supported, your belly is working. When you pull with these rows, keep your wrist right underneath your elbow. If you bring your wrist in too much, you're losing that lift. You're not working as hard and it doesn't work as well then. So you gotta leave your wrist right under your elbow as you pull forward and to the side. It's a little more challenging, but it's worth it. Breathing as you lift. You want to breathe out at the hardest part of that, at that exercise. Inhale and exhale. Nice. You guys are doing an amazing job. So close. Getting those shoulders nice and toned. You're so close. Give me a couple more. And one more. Good job. This is core control reverse lunge. We'll be doing eight each side. You can do it with two weights or with one. I'm doing it with one modified version. One. Two. Three. Four, let me show you from the side. Two more. Last one, eight. Very good, other side, switch hands. If you're more advanced, you'll have two weights. Here we go. One, two, three, four, halfway from the side, five, six, Seven, last one, eight. So this next one, wood chop with a fly. So actually you're gonna do a wood chop with a row. Over your shoulder, both weights are together. You're gonna swing down low and pull up. Take it up, swing down low and pull up. Down again. Swing, pull up. Take it to swing, nice and wide. Over your shoulder, swing low and wide. Nice job. So alternating on this one, down and lift. Other side, belly tight and lift. Switch up over your shoulder, belly controls as you go down, up and down. Take it over again and up down. How are you doing? You're getting there. A couple more. Take it down. Pull up. One more. 
take it down, pull, very nice. This one here, we're gonna do a squat with one leg, all the way down, bend the knee, as you come up, do a frontal raise, okay? We'll do that for 12 reps, then switch sides. All right, so grab the weight, balance first. All right, squat down, touch the ground, come up, frontal raise, one. Squat down, up, frontal raise, two. Work that balance, three. I'm keeping my, in my eyes fixated on the point on the ground right in front of me. That way it helps me with my balance. If I look up and down, as I go up and down, it's gonna throw me off more. It's gonna mess with my proprioception and that is gonna make my workout much more challenging on the balance. And I wanna work every part of me as well. My quads, my glutes, my shoulders. And as I'm squatting up and down, I'm keeping my posture perfect. I'm not bending down or rounding off my back. All right, shake it off real quick. Deep breath, here we go. Find that balance. All right, I'm good, I got my point, and go. Squat down, come up, pause, raise. Yeah, I can come up with a nice upper body, but my head is slightly pointed down. That way, I control the balance much, much better. And all the while, tense up every part of you. Your arms, your abs, your legs. Every part of you has its part to play. Make sure every part does its part to move the whole body. Work in the quads, the butt, the shoulders. Abs always tight. The next move is squat with upright row, 10 each side. Put one hand on the hip, hold there. Squat down, touch the ground with one. Upright row, that's one, we're doing 10 reps. Squat low, touch the ground, bend your knees. Two, core tight, elbow high. Three, great job. Flat back, core tight. Five, you're halfway there. Six, elbow high. Seven, reach for the chin. Eight, nine, 10, switch sides. Other hand on the other hip. Bend, squat down, touch the weight down. Upright row, high elbow, that's one. Touch down, bend those knees. Two, deep squat. Three. Four. Five. Halfway. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, 10, great job. So this next one, you're gonna keep your feet wide, insides your wrist point towards each other, pivot your back leg, making a big circle, coming down low, doing a fly. Here we go, other side, one minute. One arm goes, the other follows, nice deep lunge, Open in that fly, close. Big circle overhead and close. Good job. Up and down and fly. One arm goes, the other arm follows. And open, close. Whew, great job. Working a little bit of everything, working those thighs, working your shoulders, your abs are tight. Open and close. One arm, then the other. Taking it nice and steady. You can get a lot done in one minute. Open, close. Being sure to lift your heel behind you, pivoting on the ball of your foot, protecting your ankles and knees. Nice and low, lengthening through your spine, long, flat back. 
Almost there, 10 seconds. Couple more sets. Around. One more. All the way open and close. Nice job. So, we're going to be doing some regular squat with a calf raise. Adding these weights just for some extra weight, make the squat a little heavier, engage the core even more. So, we're gonna go feet neutral, then step them out just like right outside hip width apart. So if here's neutral, just right outside hips, and you drop down to your squat, squeeze up on your toes. Squat, squeeze up on your toes. You can add even a little curl with this, why not? And work our arms a little bit, here we go. Up, squeeze those calves, up. It's important that you understand that the little muscles, like the calves, are connected to the back of the leg, and the hamstring, and the glute. It's all connected, guys. So it's important to get them in. And why not get them in a full body strength and conditioning workout like butts and cuts? Squeeze, drop, squeeze. So again, you can add the curl or not. Five more, four more, three, two, last one, and curl. This next one is a combo set of a sumo squat up into a curl, and as you hold here, go into a round overhead, slap the weight in with the thumbs in. Keep your posture perfect, 12 round. All right, here we go, right? Perfect posture, squat down, up, curl, bam. That hit you do on top is crucial because it sends a vibration through your body, and that makes your bones really strong because it now has to compensate and the muscles grow much faster along with the bones. So this is great for everything in addition to building up your bone density. Up curl, round, smack. Curl, smack. Curl up, thumbs in, smack. Keep your posture perfect. We're going into plank position now. So you're gonna have your weights both in one hand. You could use one weight if you need to. We're going for a push up, step through, kick through. Looks like this. Push up, the same side foot as those weights are on. Step, punch, push, bring it back, reset. Here we go. Knees are okay if you'd like. We go down, up, step up, punch through, step back, reset. Down, up, step, punch, back, and reset. Just 30 seconds here. I know they're tough, but you could do it for 30 seconds. Down, up, step up, good job. So one more push up, step up, Push through, kick through, reach, and take it back. So one hand has the weight, push up position, down up, step wide of your hands, kick through, punch, take it back, reset. Push up, step, kick, punch, bring it back, reset. Go to your knees if you have to, and then step forward wide of your hands, punch straight up, bring it back, reset. Good, one more, down up, step up, and punch, bring it back, and reset. Congratulations, let's get a little bit of a stretch. Take a breath, and sit low. Twist, push your thigh out, shoulder away from your ears. Nice job, bring one hand to the ground, reach up with the other arm. Shoulders away from your ears, legs straight. And then bend both knees again. Drop your other shoulder forward, push your inner thigh out. And then you're just gonna reach that hand down, straighten your legs, reach up. Good job. Relax all the way forward, interlace your fingers behind you, shoulders lifted, relax your head. And then bend your knees and roll all the way up. Take a breath, exhale, shake it down. 
coming down to your knees. We're just gonna take a lunge position. We're gonna take a deep lunge, grab for that leg behind you. If you can't, you can't just hold your lunge here. So this is just an extra quad stretch. Worked a lot of quads today, yeah? And then we're just gonna take it, lift it over to the other side. Nice deep lunge, your knee over your heel. Stay here. If you have a little more extra flexibility, you can reach for your foot and pull it in behind you. Super stretch for your hip flexor, your quad. Good. And just bring your legs underneath you. Feet together. We're going to push down into your outer thinner thighs and fold in half. Roll up nice and slow. Take a breath in and exhale, shake it down. Excellent job, you guys. That was about a 15 minute inter intermediate full body workout with dumbbells. You did such a good job. My name is Julia Bogner. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again.